And welcome to our third and final round here with Grixis Midrange. Dang, not drawing the best opening hands here, that's for sure. We have to mulligan this. All right, this hand's great, though. We will keep this very happily. Our opponent mulliganed as well, so we're even. They left one on top, and we're going to do the same. We're going to try to protect Thief of Sanity with that and uh, hope it carries. Looks like it might be Esper here. All right, we'll go Blood Crypt tap, say go. And we will have a lot of options here. Ooh, okay. Well, Thought Erasure for sure. See if we can clear the way for Thief. Wow. A lot of stuff, but no blue, notably. So we want to take Oath here and see if we can maybe get under this Kaya's Wrath. Oath is the only thing that can interact very quickly. We're going to keep that for uh, Nicol Bolas as well. No blue source. Boo. We're still going to play it here, but of course, if they have, uh, if they draw another black or white source, Kaya's Wrath is going to take care of it. Then we can Nicol Bolas, though. Wow. All right. One of those days. Now we could just double butcher here. This is going to be coming down, so it might not be the best. And we don't want to just get Command the Dread Hoarded here. These butchers are actually going to be not that strong. I don't know, though. Butchers here means that they're big enough to trade with Bell Hunt. And then we can play Bolas next turn, and then we can just discard Tyrant Scorn. That seems okay. If they go land, land, and command the Dreadhorde on time, though, that's pretty obnoxious. So these are actually pretty okay. These two drops trading bodies for Basilica Bell Hunt, not bad. I'll get rid of this. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, if they draw the land for Command the Dreadhorde, they get to kind of blow us out here, but not much we can do here. We have to clear the way. But if they don't, you know, there's a chance that we can Ravager, like, Legend Rule and just uh, make them discard. No land. They drew, they drew four land off the top to be able to do this play. That is insane. What a tilt. <laughs> Oh, yikes. They get Bell Hunt back here. They can't go crazy or anything. Wow. That was unreal. Okay. Can't really attack. We can attack with Butcher here. To deal with Narset. It's not even that good, though. Hmm. Don't want Thief to connect. All right, so what we're going to do is attack this with both. That way it should be dead. I mean, Thief is not going to want to jump in front of this, so then it's just top deck war. Let's see if maybe they just continue to draw lands now, or if they're drawing perfects. Okay. Now, is it more important to kill the Bell Haunt? Which one is this? This is the three? I think it's more important to kill Narset than a Bell Haunt right now. And Thief. All right, well, we're advantaged on this board until they... Okay. Not bad. Three turn clock with a backup. It's been a wild game. Going from thinking we could never possibly lose to uh, in a rough spot. All right, Butcher, let's see what you got. All right. Now they're in uh, dangerous territory here. Top deck or bust. That's a top deck. Gotta bounce that. Okay, try this again. Now, do we want? Yeah, they have been drawing nonstop land, so maybe we can uh, stop complaining now and uh, appreciate the fact that they drew Teferi, Time Reveler, and all lands. It just so happened that their hand 
wanted to do that. I think we still attack and deal with this bell hunt here. Maybe it just doesn't matter. Yeah, we'll keep it. We will go for it. Okay. That one's not so bad. Now, unfortunately, if they top deck another thing like that, then uh, Teferi Time Reveler can actually be activated. Okay. <laughs> Just getting some extra extra information. Don't blame you. All right, game one to us. That was a little wild. That was going to be a bit of a tilt if uh, they just drew perfect, perfect. But the problem with Command the Dreadhorde from the Esper side is you don't have those wild growth walkers and ways to rebuild really fast. You just kind of have to hope that you're at a good life total and that you're ahead, which they were. But all right, war bosses are great here. Um, Elder Spell is good. On the draw, I like some duresses. I don't really like negates. Lava coils are okay, but I'm I'm guessing they probably take out Basilica. Um, Tyrants okay. This is okay. I think we're gonna take out Tyrant Scorn. Now what else? We have a lot of creatures in right now. I think it's reasonable, but we want to probably take out Narset if uh, we have so many creatures here. We're so likely to miss. It's a close one. This is a close one. I like the top end. I don't like this. Um, the devil is still pretty strong being able to just deal with anything. Maybe we'll take out this. Just try to be as disruptive to their hand as well as being able to deal with planeswalkers and just being having the, the most aggressive, obnoxious creatures for them to deal with possible. I think that's the way to approach this. Definitely on the play. On the draw, I could see not having butchers depending on how they sideboard. So that's the thing is like, you don't know which way they're gonna sideboard. Most of the time they take out some of their creatures and try to control you. And that makes the creatures pretty good. Um, but if they s stick with like heroes and basilicas and they try to be the aggressor, then we wanna be a little bit more controlling. So it's kind of hard to uh, guess how they're gonna do it. But this sounds good. Got our one search as well as a great two drop, great three drop and some good disruption. All right, now we can really just go to town with these Butchers here. Hero? Okay, don't care about that. When you just have a huge, um, um, when you just have a bunch of threats here, it's, uh, you look down and you're like, okay, sure, Thought Erasure takes one of them, you know, but you might even take, take Search. Ah, probably not. They have plenty of ways to bounce that and stuff. We're not going to play this next turn. We're going to play a Butcher. Pester some Planeswalkers. All right, get on in there. Even if they bounce this, we just get to attack it. That's why I love Legion War Boss in this spot. Okay. Boom, token, attack here. And we would love a fourth land drop. Probably not even to play Bolas, but like Thought Erasure into Butcher seems super good. Good card, good card. Now, if we don't get a land, let's just get a land. How about that? If we don't get a land, we probably just butcher. Oh, yeah. Maybe we just double butcher? I mean, they are better getting down earlier, and they're still going to have a lot of cards for a Thought Erasure later. Ah, we should just Thought Erasure. Let's not get greedy. All right, we are cool that they duress us. I, I wish we would have just butchered now. Um, nope. All right, we'll attack. Now this is gonna be up to three, four. So unfortunately we will just have to bedevil this unless we just want to attack it. Nice. Oh yeah, we did have the bedevil, but still. So they didn't play that. Interesting. We're going to just attack with this. I'm gonna drop this. Have them discard. 
All right, one Teferi in a dream. I like our spot. I do think we have a rather good Esper matchup, which uh, is definitely one benefit to playing this deck. Okay. I'm gonna go with the Butcher. You're going to, okay. <laughs> Boom, that's how we do it. Okay, not too bad. We salvaged, uh, we salvaged a little bit here after that uh, round one loss. Uh, which is a little brutal um, because I really think we had the chances to really take that down. But that aggressive Nea draw just got us really good with those uh, seven damage of haste creatures uh, that came in that last turn right before we could enter the God Eternal. But uh, came back, got these last two, so no complaints here. All right, everybody, that's it for the game plans here. Stay tuned for our uh, wrap-up uh, coming up next. See you there.